tape and young talents opening the card. Lapi Luz is 23, Japan Sasaki 25. And despite the Frenchman being a significant four inches shorter than Sasaki, Lapi Luz will have a two inch reach advantage. With the scene set, it's time for the, here for the first time today, Andy Friedlander. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the O2 World Berlin, Germany. We come now to three rounds in the USC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a grappler and ground fighter. He holds a professional record of 18 wins, two losses and two draws. Standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, he weighed in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Shizuoka, Japan, Oluka Sasaki. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A submission specialist with a professional record of nine wins and one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall and weighed in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Taylor. Double impact, Lapillus. And when the action begins, the referee in charge of the octagon, Mr. Wolf Menninger. So the referee for this bantamweight bout is Stay Wolf back. Menninger. Stay back. We are all set for Ready? three five-minute rounds of action. Watch out for Sasaki to come in very quickly. And tonight's fight clock is sponsored by Olymp. Always interesting when two southpaws fight each other, John. Always interesting to see how much experience they've got sparring with southpaws in the gym. Sasaki already on the back uh, on the back foot here. Immediately looks for a takedown. Wrestling uh, uh, Lapalus to the fence here. Looks like he's going to get the finish. Lapalus doing a good job of defending that, but still ends up on the floor. Very nice stuff there from Sasaki. Against the norm. He came out with a flying knee, actually took his back from standing and finished with a rear naked choke. So, a very dynamic grappler. I wonder whether that was a tactical thing that, uh, that Taylor Lapilus had looked, for, looked to do to, you know, encourage him to touch gloves before to take that blitz out of the fight. Yeah. Maybe you, can, about that you can, of course, refuse to do that. Yeah, that's good for the fans, but when, when you have a strategy, it's, you know, that's what you've got to go with. Definitely. Bit of jostling in the clinch now. Lapilus trying to stay, keep his back off the fence here, but... Um, Lucas Sasaki is not releasing that body lock, although he doesn't have double unders. So Taylor, double impact, Lapilus making his bantamweight debut. Very early on, switching the weight classes as he comes into the Ultimate what? Fighting Championship. As we see Sasaki looking to leg trip Lapilus, get him down to the mat. Broken the grip now, has Lapilus, going to get to establish him. Head position. Sasaki looking for a tight overhook there. You just don't know what this guy's going to do. It's, it's very difficult nice to predict what's going to happen here. Nice elbow from the uh, the inside for Taylor Lapidus. Yeah, good framing there. Sasaki looking for a trip again. Always feel like he's waiting, like he's like he's waiting for his opponent to, to do something, to make a move, and then he'll jump on something. Very relaxed in the clinch. Japan has big hopes for Sasaki. Horiguchi tripped at the final hurdle against DJ, so maybe Sasaki can develop into a threat to TJ Dillashaw. Well, he's definitely an interesting addition to the division, given the fact that he's, that he's as tall as he is. He's going to have a reach advantage on most people. It makes it very difficult to prepare for fighters that have these interesting physical attributes and hey, advantages haircuts. <laughs> and haircuts. You can't talk about hey, 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 haircuts. Hey, let's Mr. not start Harvey. so early in the, in the card, John. <laughs> <laughs> it's still early. Lapilus really looking at keeping his opponent backed up against the fence here, trying to keep him on the, the outside octagon. You see those, oh, a nice kick caught by uh, Lapilus there. Good use of the momentum, though, from Sasaki to uh, turn that corner. And still ends up with his back against the fence, however. Not a lot of urgency in this first round from Lapilus when he establishes this position down. It looks like he's trying to do something very specific. Yeah, I'm interested to know whether he's just kind of waiting it out and, and seeing, seeing if he can, you know, ba basically smoke his opponent's game plan out of him, try and figure out what he's going to do, look for some tells in his movement. Uh, so, um, Sasaki's not committing to anything right now. He's, he's looked for a body lock, he's looked for an overhook, but, but he's not really used anything a great deal with success yet. Nice, good pitches from the inside and a nice short elbow from Lapidus. Sasaki looks to close the distance again and take that range away from him. A nice knee on the inside, just right caught the chin. Turning up the heat a little bit here is Taylor Lapidus, who did well with the counter to that kick. Unfazed by it is Sasaki though, still looking for uh, double underhooks which are being denied at the moment by Lapidus. It's very game indeed. It's just oh. Oh. He's doing a good job of, job of uh, keeping that head position then removing his head just for a second long enough to land that clean right elbow. So working at the Hertz gym and WK Saruga Dojo. Nice, good dirty boxing on the inside by the Frenchman. Taylor Lapidus doing 
everything he can, I guess, to keep this fight on the feet against Sasaki, who is a very slick operator on the canvas. Good footwork there by Sasaki, just keep himself out of danger, shoots him again, denied by the Frenchman, beautiful takedown defence. Yeah, and made him pay as well a little bit with that leg kick, that's important. Really trying to close that space down, nice left hand as well, rattled the chin of the man from Japan. Oh, a spinning elbow, beautifully timed. And measured, really nicely done at the end there for Taylor Lapilus. Okay. So let's take a look at some of the action from that first round. Nice attempt to trip there. Oh, a short elbow on the inside from Lapalus. Really good work. He closes the distance behind his hands and landed some good shots in the clinch there. Yeah, good work by the Frenchman there. Again, Sasaki just not really phased by it. A nice short spinning elbow there. A lot of creativity in the clinch from uh, from Lapalus. Not a great deal from Sasaki so far. Maybe looking to get into the second round and see what's going to happen there. Confident looking display from Double Impact. We'll be looking to build on that first five minutes. Stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. Ready? Ready? Fight! Now referee engages the two fighters for round number two. Again, Sasaki being pushed back to the back to the uh, the fence here. That thing is doing very well to, to, to cut the octagon off down as well. He is. He is doing a good job, although. Sasaki looks to be opting for this position. I, I think he's hoping to try and counter strike and, and, uh, and turn Lapalus as he steps in against the fence. Yeah, Lapalus got to be careful not to cross his feet over too Ooh. much as he goes round and come off balance. There's a nice body kick that Sasaki circled onto there from Lapalus. As Taylor stalks his opponent across the octagon, backs him up against the fence. Pay attention to that octagon that's painted on the, on the canvas, the, those, uh, those black lines on the inside. He's very good at seeing who's, who's winning the fight. Wow, that battle. is some balance there. And wow. What a nice one too. As he disengaged from that takedown attempt from Sasaki. Lepilu's just trying to find that range. For Sasaki against the fence. Oh, that was a beautiful straight left. Snap the head. Oh, and he's That's down. He's down. Looks like he's hurt. Sasaki in trouble here in the second. Referee taking a close look. Stop, 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 and that stop, stop, stop. is it. Taylor Lapilus, he picks up his second Octagon victory in devastating fashion. Beautiful, very measured, nice straight uh, left hand, snap the head back of the Japanese fighter, and then a follow-up, put him to the canvas. Very nice bantamweight debut for double impact Lapilus. So let's have a look at that, how that went down. Beautiful balance there by Lapilus, kept the fight on the feet, and then started to stalk his opponent immediately across the octagon. You can see him closing in, just measuring him. And then here's the really nice straight left as his opponent was moving. And then he follows it with one more, wobbles him, sends him to the canvas, and then does a really good job of posting with his right hand, pinning his, pinning his head to the, to the fence and landing some good clean shots. Unable to get back to his feet, the referee had to stop it. Really nice finish. Let's have a look at this angle. Good right clean, on the end of yeah. the extension as well. Right on the chin. Just wobbled him enough to send him to the canvas, and then he, he poured on the pressure here. I love that post, pinning the head to the floor. It's a good performance and a very, very nice debut for this, uh, this uh, weight class. Very nice indeed. So, let's make it all official and send it back inside to Andy Friedlander. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Wolf Hanger has Hello. called the stop of this contest at Hello. 1 minute and 26 seconds of the second round, declaring the winner by TKO, Taylor, doubling back, Lapilos. So Taylor Lapilus standing proudly with the French flag. That was indeed a very nice bantamweight debut. And he goes 2-0 and oh in the octagon. Sharing some celebratory moments with his team. But he's going to have a word okay. with the outlaw. Taylor is with them. Okay, let's have a word with your winner, Taylor. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Taylor Lapilus. <laughs> So, second fight in the UFC, another fantastic performance. Obviously, you didn't go the distance this time, looking to close the distance, hitting with a nice clean left hand. Was that what you saw happening? I should pas du tout compris. I didn't, I didn't do it. <laughs> Did the fight go to game plan? Est-ce que le combat s'est déroulé comme tu prévois quand c'était prévu? Yeah, exactly. I love Berlin. I love my country, the French. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So, 
Tell me about this move to the new weight class. Do, do you feel this is the suit, right suit of weight class for you now? Est-ce est que le fait d'être arrivé sur cette nouvelle catégorie de poids, ça te, ça te va C'est un bon choix Yeah, I'm feeling so good in the category, weight category. <laughs> So talk me through the finish. Obviously, Sasaki was really moving a lot, trying to stay away from you, and you caught him with a straight left. Talk me through the movement and what you saw and how you exposed that. Okay, uh, he was placed on his back and he was exploited this occasion. What did you think about that or what did you do at hasard? Yeah, uh, I think um, in this placement, he was bad. I waited for the right moment to kill him on my back. Okay, he said... Um, Sasaki was moving in the in the wrong way and then it caught him with the the rear hand after. Well it was a beautiful performance. Ladies and gentlemen, start the car off in the right way. Taylor Lapalus! Fantastic stuff there from the French.